In IHME's analysis of excess mortality from the COVID-19 pandemic in the years 2020 to 2021, we find the extraordinary number of 18.3 million deaths globally due to the pandemic. That figure of 18.3 million deaths globally is a combination of direct measurement as well as statistical model prediction in places with uh, less than ideal uh, data systems. We see a pattern where the countries with the largest number of deaths are India and then the United States and the Russian Federation. Other places with large numbers of deaths include Brazil and Mexico, as well as uh, now Indonesia. And that's a combination of large population size, but also the global nature of COVID death uh, that we've seen during the pandemic. So one of the analyses in the paper is a comparison of excess deaths to reported COVID deaths. And that ratio of excess mortality to reported COVID is not constant across countries. Some countries have done a much better job of capturing COVID deaths than others. And so the ratios in North America, most of South America and Europe are close to one or between one and two. But in many parts of the world, the ratio of excess to reported COVID is over 10 and in fact over 20. Why is excess mortality so important to, to track? Well, the magnitude of the global epidemic, you know, over 18 million deaths, uh, as opposed to the reported number of COVID deaths of around about 6 million, uh, just points to the devastating toll of the pandemic and the importance both for potential future waves of new variants, but also for preparing for future pandemics, how important it is to get our policy responses right because we've seen such a huge number uh, of people die globally, effectively increasing the global death rate each year by nearly 20%, both in 2020 and in 2021. Within the United States, uh, Minnesota and North Dakota have had the lowest excess death rates. Uh, and then we've seen much higher excess death rates in some of the states, for example, Mississippi being one of the highest. So we believe that the excess death rate is a very important measure of the totality of COVID-19. The deaths that we count through excess mortality are not just due to the virus. They also include the protective effects of masking and reduction of, of uh, influenza and RSV, as well as any other effects that the pandemic and the, the response to the pandemic may have had of people uh, not getting needed care, or for example, the, the rise in some causes of death that may have been linked to changes in mental health. Going forward, I think what we've learned through this analysis is just the tremendous value of timely vital statistics. In this case, by all cause mortality, but even more valuable is when that information is timely and available by cause as well. And that will give us deeper insights into when a cause is going up. For example, is the rise in depression associated with the pandemic leading to an increase in suicide? And if so, in which countries?